Good day gamers, my name is Simply Sample and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to be talking about the Implosion Bow. This is an upgrade to the Explosive Bow of Hypixel Skyblock. If you don't play Hypixel Skyblock you can skip to the timestamp here to just see what the bow is all about. Now make sure to watch to the end of the video because we end up changing some values and destroy my server. Enjoy! Now what is the Explosive Bow? The Explosive Bow has 100 damage and 20 strength and an ability Explosive Shot. Every mob that is in the explosion takes the full damage of the bow. This weapon gets unlocked at Gunpowder 9 and it only costs 3 enchanted firework and some string to be crafted. For a while this bow was the meta to kill zealots because you can kill them from far away. But it quickly got outclassed by the Frozen Sight, then also the Jerry Sheen Gun, and now still the Frozen Sight. So it's not really that used anymore. And that is why I present to you the Implosion Bow. Now let's see what we need to craft the Implosion Bow. First of all, we need the Explosive Bow in the middle. We need a Gyrokinetic Wand. This is one of the new items of Enderman Slayer level 6. 6 stacks of enchanted firework rockets, which is the final version of gunpowder, and 1 stack of super boom TNT. And this is what gives you the implosion bow. The implosion bow would be unlocked at gunpowder collection 10, and you would also need enderman slayer level 6. This adds 100 damage, 100 strength, and also 10 crit damage. Let's see what this bow can do. Once I shoot in this hole you will see that an implosion is being created, so a sort of black hole, and once it explodes you actually get all of the blocks. Oh, this is another way to touch grass I guess. Anyways, let's see what it does to entities. If I spawn a couple of pigs you will be able to see that they get sucked in, just like the gyrokinetic wand and then the explosion damages and kills them. So what can this bow actually be used for? First of all you could use it for mining, yes mining. In the crystal hollows you could use this item to get a lot of blocks pretty quickly. Right now there's a delay of 5 seconds, this means you cannot create a second implosion before the first one has ended, but because you get all of the blocks it goes rather quickly. You could use this for the most hated skill in the game, foraging. Since this ability works on all the blocks you can break, it would also work on wood. Right now I got 9 oak logs and also some of the leaves. So this means that this bow could not only be used for mining and foraging, but also in combat and in dungeons, just the way the gyrokinetic wand is. It would be a real multi-tool to have, in my opinion. If you take a look at the code, I'm not really going over the code, but this is uh, the part of the code that gets all of the nearby blocks. So if we change this radius to 10, for example, uh, and then we need to export this plugin, there we go, and then we need to reload the server so the changes were taken in effect. And if we now use our bow, then we can see, oh my god, that my server is not very happy. Okay, so the way this works is every block actually gets changed into a falling block and this is an entity. So right now I would say this created about 300-400 entities, which is why the game went pretty laggy. The server is also only one gigabyte, so if we really wanted to, um, we could go for, yeah the server says it, <laughs> we could go for a pretty high number, uh, let's say 20. If you have a bigger server, uh, let's say you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, this would be less of a problem I'd say, uh, but still, there is ways to combat this by for example limiting the amount of entities. Uh, to only like 50 falling blocks 
and that would save you a lot of trouble right l let's get some of this wood oh my god this went on for about five minutes and right when i was getting a drink this happened there we go god the explosion has cleared it up quite a bit so this is the crater we end up with now i want to know what you guys think what do you think about the crafting recipe and what do you think about the custom ability of this bow? I had a couple of ideas to make the explosive bow as well as the implosion bow better by upgrading their radius. I wouldn't make it 20 because... yes. Uh, but for example from 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 could be a thing. And then to limit the amount of entities that could be spawned from it so the servers don't crash. If you like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it really does help me out. I'm just starting out here and I've got a lot of ideas and plans so I hope you guys stick around for the ride. If you have ideas yourself you can put them in the comments and I will read all of them. I will always, always credit the original person with the idea, so even if one of these items ends up in the game, you will get credited for it and not me. Alright, sample out.